Hi, my name's Matt. Welcome to Pony Power. Um, today we're going to be quickly going over um, reed valves, uh, how they work, the basics, and what which individual bits are called what. So this is a reed valve. This is a basic. This is a standard 50cc one, um, factory part. And if I can find the screwdriver, we can crack on. Oh my god, this is so professional, it's a joke. <laughs> right. So basically of your your um your cage, your uh, reed valve cage, which is this basic this block, which is aluminium in this case. Um sometimes a plastic but usually they're aluminium. This is aluminium um covered in a plastic or a silicon uh, just to help it seal better. Um you have your petals which are here, your reeds. I call them petals. Most people say, no, no the reeds. I like the reeds. Your reeds in here. I'll bring you in a bit so you can see a bit better because that's just rubbish. So your reeds in here, which flap one way, and then you have your retainer on top. Um, your retainer is basically there so your reeds don't bend. If you look as air comes in, these reeds bend. You see that? There we go. Where am I going? Here we are. The reeds bend but this is just it's like a deflector it's to stop them bending too much curling back on themselves and also if they bend too much they'll snap because um, usually they're either carbon fiber or some of the sexy composite or usually just um, a vinyl plastic and if you bend them too much they will snap or you don't want them getting stuck because um, otherwise the engine won't work properly so you take these screws off the top and this is how you would go around replacing a set of reeds if you've absolutely knackered your reeds um, especially the carbon fibre ones, they tend to fray quite a bit um, I do have some carbon fibre ones somewhere but yet again I'm, I am unprepared for these videos to be quite a sample of time, I don't even know why I bother um, so yeah, here's your reeds This. Uh, deflector shield has come off and you can pull your reeds off and there's just two threaded holes and these two windows now god you can't see <laughs> uh, so your two petals and your two windows some people take this bridge out the middle um, as long as your reeds cover it and you can get single petal leaves uh, reeds um, that's fine if you have reeds like this don't take out this middle bridge because otherwise it'll just it won't seal properly but the way this works is it's a one-way gate so if I put these screws back in loosely we can see what happens right so the way these work is as the engine creates a vacuum within the um, combustion, cha combustion chamber within the crankcase uh, housing um, the outside pressure outside is higher than the partial vacuum inside so what happens is is the air outside can force the reeds open and allow air to flow in um, as soon as the pressure is equalised, or as soon as the pressure is higher than atmosphere, higher than what's outside, the internal pressure pushes the reeds closed. So basically the material you want is something that is flexible but rigid. If this is too um, flexible, then they'll, they'll fall into the windows and it won't seal properly. If they are too rigid, it needs an awful lot of pressure difference. Um, to actually open the reeds, so thickness and the material choice is very important. And the thing is, it's one of them things where you, it's another thing that kind of these tuners sometimes um, don't play around with. One, different materials, but number two, different thicknesses of these materials. The other thing as well is you could also do a composite staggering where you could make thinner reeds that sit on top of these to give it a bit more rigidity or you could stop them halfway so it changes the characteristics of how the reeds open and it's a lot of playing around you know what I mean um, don't just always just buy stuff off the shelf you can buy reed material in this shape and cut your own out and try different variants try laying different ones on top of each other get different thicknesses stuff like that and at the end of the day you can try different materials you can buy um, different types of sheets of plastic, you know, these things are tiny, I don't know how thick these are. Um, I'll just grab my comment. So, these are um, standard reeds off the Piaggio zip, as far as I'm aware, and the thickness they're running these at, 
I'll use the ratchet just to be technical. So the, they're running these reeds at was that was that three five? Yeah. So they're running these reeds at 0.36 millimeters. Um, let me try somewhere else just to get a decent reading. Yeah, 0.36, 0.36 millimeters. But like I say, if you're if you want to try and mess around with different thicknesses, you can get thicknesses of plastic and all ridiculous thicknesses. And like I say, if you can't get a thickness that you're happy with, you can just add another layer of really thin um, plastics onto the top of it. Um, flowing reed blocks is also um, another. Uh, mod that people can do. Um, you can take away all the high points. These aren't actually pretty bad. To say these are factory inside the port. See if I can show you that. I can never see properly. Inside the port there, the screws, the screws in here, they're pretty flush. If your screws stick out, you can eat it. You could take the heads off them, depending what kind of manifold. Um, uh, read block you have in your manifold, and depending on what manifold you've got. Another thing as well is the shape of the window. Depending on what your manifold looks like, you can match them up. Um, some of these are just like this, where it's a silicon crush type. Um, some have O-rings, and like I say, you could do, you can mix and match things and um, play around. But um, basically, the read and people miss this out quite a lot. The reeds are. It's not just about getting or oh, getting flashy carbon fibre. The reeds are seriously important. Um, these are seriously important pieces of kit. The engine will not run properly or run at all if the reeds are in poor shape. If you take the reeds out of the engine, it just won't run. The way that it draws fuel and air mixture into the engine, um, the way the engine breathes. Uh, you know, is down to these, is down to the reeds. They're, they're just as important as inlet valves on a four-stroke. If you don't have them or you don't maintain them properly, you're gonna have a piss poor running engine. Um, so yeah, it's they're a very important aspect of uh, engine design uh, for two strokes. Uh, they shouldn't be neglected, and you shouldn't just really go out and buy. Uh, stage six or whoever bit and just slap it in and expect it to work if you've spent loads and loads and loads of money on you know all these sports parts and all the rest of it a lot of uh, time and patience is taken balancing cranks and all the rest of it but things like this sometimes are overlooked um, so yeah there you go basic explanation and uh, play around give it a go see what your results are all right in a bit